I am a clinician, I am an allergist, I am the head of the allergy department of Malaga University Hospital in Spain, in the south of Spain, and also a member of the security committee here of the IACI, and I am the deputy editor of Allergy Journal. And uh, you had a lot of presentation here, I guess, and uh, what's the main issue and the, the most important thing about uh, journaling? Uh, my main role here is I, I am and also a researcher that works on drug allergies. So my presentation here, my chair here is always related with drug allergy. But also I have here to chair session and to work uh, as a deputy editor of allergy. That is one of, the, of my main tasks. Uh, the role as a deputy editor of allergy is to help and to help with the strategy of the editor-in-chief, Ches Miaktis, and uh, as a clinician, one of the main role is to focus to make the journal interesting for clinicians, for allergies, for dermatologists, for ENT, all the specialist physicians that are interested in allergy. And one of the, of the main role is to disseminate the clinical the guidelines that the ACI developed, the guidelines of immunotherapy of food allergy that real, are really useful for the clinical practice, and also to uh, increase to increase the interest in drug allergy. Now, drug allergy is a field that uh, is, uh, has a lot of attention because it's a huge problem in Europe and uh, around the world because there are many people labeled a drug allergic that need to be diagnosed and treated properly. So in our journal we are welcome to many papers on that field because it's really an interested field that is need to be increased. Um, that means in practice when uh, uh patient is coming to a doctor that he has a support from your uh, editing and uh, can see how the disease maybe is developing um, which is not in uh, which is in combination with the drug he has for another problem maybe yes because uh, the main problem is that drug are useful for treating disease, but they have a big problem that they induce allergy disease, some of them quite severe. And as patients, many of the patients are taking different drugs at the same time. We have to try to identify which is the specific drug that had induced the reaction. So for that, we need uh, clinical guidelines. The doctor needs to be aware which are the most often drugs that can be involved in the reaction. Otherwise, the patients are labeled as allergic to many, many drugs uh, uh, without being true allergic, and they will not uh, receive the specific drug that is necessary for treating the disease, which is a big problem.